Hi y'all, it's Jenny from UNLV Outdoor Adventures and today we'll be talking about how to read the sky. So first what we'll want to do is to set up a spot where we can lay down, relax, and look at the sky. I personally did not want to go too far from home so I stayed right in my front yard. But my front yard is very rocky so I had to adjust. What you'll want to do is grab an outdoor blanket a yoga mat, since I don't want to lay on rocks, and a pillow. We found a place to lay down and relax, whether it's in front of your own home or if it's at a nearby park. Now we can learn how to read the sky. Instead of trying to remember all the scientific names of the clouds today, I'm going to make it easy for us by splitting it up into four categories. One, high clouds, two, medium clouds, three, low clouds, and four, clouds of vertical growth. High clouds are ones that you can see all over the sky and typically you can still see the sun through them. Those can indicate that wet weather might be coming in the near future. There is also fluffy patchy high clouds like the iconic Toy Story clouds that indicate nice weather. And lastly, there is high clouds that look almost stretched out. These clouds have really long tails and indicate heavy winds because the wind is literally blowing the cloud away and it's stretching. Next, there's medium clouds. These are of medium elevation. They are usually dark and can bring in weather like rain or snow. Then there is low elevation clouds. There are two types, either light fluffy ones or dark constant widespread ones. The dark ones can also indicate weather, so if you see those, you can almost guarantee it is raining or snowing in that area. The light fluffy ones indicate good weather for that day. Lastly, there is vertical growth clouds. These are clouds that start off in low elevation and go way up high. Just like all other clouds, if they're white and fluffy, then you'll probably have a nice overcast day. But if the clouds are dark and scary looking, then it is very likely that a storm is coming. It is helpful to be able to read the clouds as outdoor explorers. Because if we are on a multiple day trip and we do not have access to the internet to look at the weather, then we can use the clouds to help guide us in what to wear for the day and if we'll eventually need to seek shelter because a big storm or high winds are coming. Thank you all for listening. I hope that this summer cloud reading will be your new quarantine activity.